Today I'm going to share with you a Christmas Eve tradition in our family. We have some fun and quick DIYs for treats for Santa and his reindeers. Welcome to my channel Freckled Mom DIY. I'm Devin. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, hey! This is also a challenge for minis hosted by my friend Corey, which I'll explain in a little bit. So grab some hot cocoa and let's dive right into these DIYs and the snacks. This DIY is super adorable and super easy. So first I have some Dollar Tree jars here and I decided to do some cameo action guys. I wanted to go back to my roots and do some weeding and some vinyl and everything came out adorable. So I did a bunch of different winter themed cameo vinyl decals. I wasn't sure which one I was going to do. So this one of course is a little reindeer and you're going to see but we are making a basket for us to enjoy for Christmas Eve as well as to leave out treats for Santa and his reindeer. So again these are just some reindeer decal and if you wanted to make this permanent definitely put some Mod Podge on this just to seal it in. I didn't do that because I might not keep this. I might reuse this for another holiday. But this was super simple. I just cut it out on my Cameo and laid it down with my transfer paper. So now I am going to do some chalk couture here. And this is just a little bit of my defuzzing. So whenever you are using a transfer, you want to defuzz it first. And this is my first time trying it on a round surface. Uh, it was a little difficult, but again, it was my first time. So you guys are witnessing magic here. <laughs> So um, I did do the entire word at first and it made a big mess. So I definitely had to pay attention a little bit better and make sure I put my transfer down nice and straight. So I did my J first and that came out great. So I decided not to do the O and instead wait for the J to dry. And then I went through and did my Y. Now I'm a chalk couture designer, so if you have any questions or want to purchase any products, go ahead and message me or put a comment down below. This is super simple and such a nice addition to our crafting techniques. So now I'm going to go through with my vinyl decals. I have this little tiny snowflake. It fits perfect as my O. And now we have Joy, and it is so sweet. I am so in love with this, and it was so easy, guys. So I just love chocolate. I think it just adds a little extra something, something, and it's just so easy. I love it so much. And not on camera, but I did print out some marshmallow word, and I am in love with this. I think this is so sweet. Let me know if you are a mini marshmallow or a regular size marshmallow person. Obviously, I'm a mini marshmallow person. Here is my reindeer food with my reindeer decal. Again, don't feed this to reindeer. It's too much sugar, but it's adorable and it's a nice snack for you. And now we got our cookies for Santa. You cannot forget the cookies for Santa. So you can see in the back, I am making a little basket here and I do have some movies. This is a minis challenge hosted by Crafted by Corey. If you haven't checked out Corey's channel, you need to. She is adorable and super sweet and her crafts are amazing. This is a challenge where we are all to make something mini. This month is a winter holiday theme and I'm super excited to see what everyone else creates. So go down to my description and check out the playlist. There is also a link to Corey's channel to check her out. This is another super sweet and super easy project. These are the Dollar Tree salt shakers and mason jars. They're in where you would buy like the cups and the plates and those kinds of things. I think they're super cute. So I brought it out to my garage and I gave it a little spray paint. I just used a white spray paint and I did give it two coats. And I think these are so super cute because they're mason jars and they're mini and they're just adorable. So I have all those decals that I had printed out earlier. So here is one for my hot chocolate 
and I'm not putting hot chocolate in this little mini guy it's just to be adorable but it's super cute and I'm sorry about the jumpiness I recorded this on the wrong mode apparently but you get the gist of it guys so hang in there the rest is not this jumpy so I also did one that says kisses on it and you're gonna see why but these are so cute so kisses and my hot chocolate and this goes directly to my theme and we have some kisses that we are going to be filling these up with this is a black painters paint pen and I'm just doing a little enamel wear. So I have done this a couple times. I do it with a stamp pad or this paint pen. I think they both come out very nice, but I think the paint pen is just a little bit sharper and a little darker, and I think it looks super adorable. I think enamel wear is definitely a classic. I don't think this will ever go out of style, and I think it's super cute. Even if you don't like farmhouse, I just love this. I think it is so sweet and super easy to do let me know how you do your enamel wear down in the comments if you use a paint pen or a stamp pad or something completely different i think these came out so sweet and of course i filled them up with some kisses here are some peppermint kisses and some confetti kisses which i didn't even know were a thing if you're new or coming over from the playlist welcome we are renovating our 1925 year old New England cottage room by room. We do home decor, thrift flipping, and more. If you like these kind of videos, go ahead and subscribe. To all my current subscribers, thank you. I am also a chalk couture leading designer, so if you want to talk chalk or just say hi, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook as Freckled Mom. So of course we have some cake, we have some peppermint sticks, we have some kisses and some marshmallows. So now we need hot cocoa. Hot chocolate is my favorite go-to for winter. So this is just another jar from the Dollar Tree and I'm giving it two coats in my Rust-Oleum white spray paint. I probably could have done a third coat, but here is where I did a little boo-boo, a little happy accident. So I should have Mod podge this. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought it would be okay, but I did have a little accident. So here I'm just putting down my vinyl letters and I'm smoothing it out with my finger. And yep, there's my first little accident. So I'm going to start peeling it a little slower now. We're just peeling the transfer up and I'm taking my time, making sure that all the letters are adhered down. Again, I haven't used my Cameo guys for like weeks now because I've been doing chalk for so long. So there's another um, little boo-boo and here's a big boo-boo. So again, I spray painted this so I can't just spray paint it again. So I did use my chalk white paint and I just filled it in but it was super noticeable. So I had these window clings and I was like, wow, why don't I just try it? And I think it worked out perfect guys. So happy accidents are happy for that reason it doesn't always have to be a bad thing figure out what's in your craft stash and what we can do to fix it so again these are window clings and they weren't really clinging too well because it's spray paint so i did use a little bit of mod podge i just put it on the back of the window cling and then i just laid it on top of the painted little mistake so you can see it if you really look close but i mean this is really for my family and I don't think anybody cares what the hot cocoa bottle looks like, but if you were to be selling this or giving it as a gift, I would definitely seal the spray paint before doing any kind of vinyl lettering. So I am just doing a couple more pieces here to just add a little extra something something and just kind of even it out. But I just love how this came out. Obviously we are not really putting hot cocoa in this because I did spray paint it. And on those little jars I filled up earlier, I did spray paint the tops with matte black. So definitely don't put any food inside of things that have spray paint just because it's not safe, guys. So I decided to do another look for the enamel wear and I'm just going around with my paint marker. And again, this is just what works for me. You guys do what works for you and what's easy for you. 
I really do like using a stamp pad. I do have some videos if you would like to see where I do use a stamp pad, but I've been using the marker and I think it comes out a lot better. I am so obsessed with this. I think this is so adorable, even with the little happy accident. Everything that I printed off for the, this project, I either wrote out for the words or I found it on the Silhouette Studio. So this is definitely something you could do on the Cricut as well. So now we need a basket, guys, to fill it all up. So this is just a basket that I got at Savers. I think it was like $1.99. I hung it from a nail in my garage and I spray painted it. I could have done two coats. I probably should have done two coats, but I was running out of spray paint and I figured I would do it on another date when I got more spray paint. So for right now, it's got one coat, which really did a pretty decent job. So you definitely wanna make sure you get in all the little crevices when you're doing paint. I like to paint with the paint brushes just because I enjoy it, but you can do whatever you like. I think this came out perfect. Here are the cookies for Santa, and we are just gonna get ready for our evening, guys. Of course, this is not until Christmas Eve, but I am not too worried about it. And of course, I'm gonna grab a little cookie for me. I think these came out so sweet, and I love this tradition. This is something me and my kids have done for years. Yes, I'm making a mess. It doesn't matter, guys, it's Christmas. Like me with sparkles, I only use my Christmas, so I don't care about a mess around Christmas time. I think it is just so much fun, and oh, I just love everything. I love everything about Christmas, the snacks, the gifts, the family, the time, the memories. I just love everything. I love it so, so much, and it's just something so special to me. If you follow me on Instagram, you guys know about my medical history and what happened to me on Christmas five years ago, and if not, ask me. I will let you know about it. It's kind of a long story, so I won't do it here, and I'm not gonna ruin the Christmas mood, guys. We are filling up our jars, and now we are going to fill up our basket. This towel is super thick, it's super durable. I got it from Grove. I like to do all my cleaners from Grove Online. They are an organic company. Everything is green and clean, and I love it. So that's where that towel came from. These white towels just came from Walmart, and I just folded them up and I'm sticking a little towel underneath it just so it has like a little extra bump, you know, just so that way you can see everything in the basket. And I'm just gonna arrange everything, how it looks adorable. We have some movies for our movie night on Christmas Eve that is a part of our tradition. It's always a different movie, but it's always a Christmas movie. So that is all set. I have my little candle going over there. This is some hot cocoa from a project I did a couple weeks ago. And I'm just gonna start filling everything up. These cups came from Dollar Tree. I think they are so cute. The peppermint sticks came from Walmart. These things are huge. And these are just some books that I had laying around. I thought it would make a cute little decoration. And I just love everything. I love the colors. Obviously, every hot chocolate needs marshmallows. Thank you to Corey for hosting this awesome challenge and don't forget to check out the playlist below. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you were inspired and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I had so much fun with these minis, as always, and recreating a memory that my kids and I do every year since they were babies. Let me know down in the comments a tradition or a memory you have from your Christmas past. I have a lot coming up, so if you wanna make sure you don't miss out, please hit the bell. You'll be notified every time I post a new video. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook as Freckled Mom. I mentioned before I am a leading designer for Chalk Couture and I am so excited. If you want to purchase products, I have my link below in my link tree. And if you're wanting to save 40% and join my team, comment below or reach out to me privately. 
I also wanted to invite you to my open recurring monthly challenge room by room for December 2nd, the first Thursday of every month at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This month's theme is the colors of Christmas. My co-host is my lovely friend Wendy from White Sparrow Living. If you are a content creator and you would like to join this open playlist or have questions, please message me privately on Instagram or Facebook. I can't wait to see you again. So until then, keep crafting and have a great night.